Welcome back. This is the introductory screen course to the second chapter of the textbook on sustainability management. This chapter is about concepts of sustainability and sustainable development. So we dig a bit deeper into what sustainability is. Let's have a look at the learning goals. So after this chapter, you will be able to define different elements of the so-called IPED equation, and you will be able to analyze generally the human impact on Earth, on ecological systems on Earth based on this IPED equation. Uh, this equation that you will be, get to know in the chapter basically illustrates the impact that mankind and each and every one of us has on the Earth's ecological systems to an easy equation. On the one hand side, you have the impact, and this impact is on the other hand side influenced by three main factors. That is the population, so how many are we on Earth? Then the level of affluence, so how much do we want, how much do we consume? And third, the technology, that is the, the means, in, in which way do we consume? So what is the technology behind that? Then you'll be able to distinguish different um, understandings of sustainability, basically weak, strong, and so-called quasi-sustainability. These are different understandings of the same concept of sustainability or sustainable development, but they have fundamentally different implications. So when two people talk about sustainable development or sustainability, they might not mean the same thing. And that is important to know, and we will do that along these three understandings. Furthermore, you will be able to explain how the so-called triple bottom line and the sustainable development goals of the United Nations make sustainable development more accessible for companies and potentially also for other players. But we're looking at companies mainly here in this book. The triple bottom line first breaks sustainable development down into three pillars. That's an economic pillar, an ecological pillar and a social pillar. So it makes it a bit more accessible for companies. These three pillars are sometimes also termed um, people, planet, and profit. People for social, planet for ecological, and profit for the economic pillar. An even more fine-grained approach is the Sustainable Development Goals. Um, they comprise 17 goals with a total of 169 targets um, that aim to provide guidance on how to serve the idea of sustainable development. They were um, developed by the United Nations. And finally, we will relate the terms sustainability management, corporate social responsibility, and corporate citizenship to each other. So we will um, dive into the topic of sustainability in companies, in organizations, and you will learn that these different um, terms are very similar concepts. Very often, they describe various elements of responsible business conducts and not seldomly they are also used synonymously. And finally we do have some features again throughout this entire chapter. We will illustrate the interdependencies between different factors of the IPED equation that I just briefly introduced in our feature on sustainability in society. Then you will get to um, uh, know John Elkington, that's the man here on the picture. He is the face basically behind the triple bottom line approach and these three pillars of sustainability. In the feature on sustainability in business, we will have a look at how the uh, different sustainable development goals, these 17 goals, are applied at the global consumer goods giant uh, Henkel at the company. And we will have a feature on sustainability in research, talking about the article on corporate social responsibility by uh, Dirk Mutton and Jeremy Moon, a groundbreaking artic article uh, that received uh, lots of praise uh, and even awards. That's very interesting. They approach the corporate social responsibility uh, from two perspectives in a very interesting read in that regard. Hope you have fun with this chapter and see you in the next.